Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cute project using these new framelits, um, the Cups and Kettles dies. They are just gorgeous. Um, they're in the um, Spring Summer catalogue. So these are the framelits. These, this is a matching stamp set that you can get um, on page 35 if you like that one. You might want to get the bundle which gives you a 15% discount. Today I'm going to use the framelits. So let me show you what you get in the framelits because it's quite a lot. So you get the teapot. Um, the lid actually, there's a, there's a little cutter along there so it actually takes the lid off so you can use those separately. We have a coffee mug. We have a little milk jug that can also be um, a small mug. This piece here makes steam coming out of your coffee. You've got um, some decorative elements which you can cut to decorate your cups with or you can actually cut through and make little um, apertures in your cups which I'll show you. It's a little tag um, and then we've got these super cute knife, fork and spoon cutters as well. So that is actually quite a lot of dies to, um, to get in one pack. So let's get started with our project today. So I'm going to do a slightly different colourway. I'm bringing in um, some, um, um, let's get this out, Watermelon Wonder and some Tip Top Taupe um, from this year's In Colours. And I'm also going to use some delightful Dijon. So let's just cut a couple of these. So I'm going to do... cup here and I'm actually going to put that little piece on there like that. We're going to do that one there and I'll cut this one as well so you can see what they're what they're like and how those work. So I'm doing this on the magnetic platform. Hopefully everything will hold in place. And let's just run that through. Depending on your big shot, how, how um, tight it is, how much use it's had, you might need to run through twice. Mine, as you can imagine, takes a heavy pounding, but it's still going strong. So here we go. So as you can pop, as you as I pop those out, you can see that makes a design on the cup where you can see a colour coming through. Or you can actually use these little design elements and stick those on. And then this one here, just going to pop out. It's so cute. Um, and this piece here, again, if I just pop that out, um, let's use the little release. These little dots here are to help release the pieces behind. We do have a new tool for the very detailed one. But it's so easy to do just with a pokey tool for the for the standard ones like that. So isn't that a cute little element? So again we can use that to decorate our cup. Okay. So I'm going to do a little bit of stamping on here as well and I'm going to use um, timeless textures. Now these stamps I am just loving. They're, they are so beautiful with all sorts of different projects and in fact if you look at my videos I have already used them with other, um, with other stamps this year. So I'm going to start off with this one in Delightful Dijon and I'm using this sort of vintage swirl on here because I think this is just a pattern you might have on a teacup. Isn't that pretty? And I've got my Dijon here. I'm just going to daub a little around the edges and just give a little bit more um, 3D look. really helps to make the cup look a little bit more 3D. take this one here. Now because we've taken a little piece out there, 
I'm actually going to take a piece of tip top taupe and put that behind. Can you see? So that it gives a little bit of, um, of depth again. Just helps with the decoration. So a little bit of glue each side just to hold that in place. See now I could have cut that neatly, couldn't I, rather than just tearing it any old how. But it still works. There we go. So, and then um, with this one here, I thought what I might do, again using um, this one, I thought I'd use these little dots. And let's get a block. And the tip top taupe ink. And then we'll have just a little. A little spotty teacup. How cute. Now there's something very strange has happened. Tell me if this has happened to you. I don't know how well you can see the colour on here, but to me that looks green. That is taupe. I swear, that is tip-top taupe. It's gone green on my dauber, but it hasn't gone green on the ink. It doesn't look green when you daub with it. It's very strange. It's sitting in front of the window, so I don't know that it's, uh, um, if it's fading the ink somehow on the windowsill. Oh, very strange, so tell me, has that happened to you? And we'll get some water Macmillan Wonder ink and the dauber for that one. And again, daub round. And it does really make a lot of difference on these little, oh, I'm taking that off the, off the camera, on these little teacups to just make them come to life. Cute! Okay, I'm going to pop a greeting um, on here, um, but I'm also going to just take that piece off. This is again, this is this one down here from Timeless Textures. Um, I'm going to use the tip top taupe and I've just put pink, I notice, on there. Always have a wipe to wipe your fingers if you get inky. We'll hide that behind the cup, so let's not worry. And I'm going to just stamp off. And all that's going to do is just give a little bit of um, a bit of grounding for my cups so they don't look as if they're kind of floating in the air. I'm going to start off with um, this one at the bottom and I'm using dimensionals. Now for the one at the bottom I'm going to put a couple of layers of dimensionals on there. So one layer, two layer because I want this to really pop up. Now, if you're doing this in the UK, as soon as you get to two layers of dimensionals, you've got to watch out that you're not in large letter territory as far as the postage goes. So watch out for that. And then I'm going to put one layer on this one. But this is, this is a card you'd want to hand over, isn't it? Because you would like to see the recipient's face when they see this card because it's so cute. So one layer there. And I'm actually going to put that one going that way a little bit. By building from the bottom I actually preferred that than having to try and come down from the top sticking that one on and, and putting the others over. I think it's something to do with, with where it's going to fall at the bottom. I was wanted it to be a bit more controlled over that. Um, and then the greeting I'm going to use on here um, comes from Sweet Sayings. 
Um, lots and lots of different sorts of greetings on here. I love Forever Begins Today and Celebrate You. Um, success looks good on you. So lots of different ones. Um, but I'm just going to use the thanks for being you. As if I was sending a thanks for being you card, I think a teacups would be a very nice one. In fact, teacups work for everything, don't they? And then I'm going to just pop that layer onto my card base, which is Watermelon Wonder. Just seeing that that um, teacup is lifting a little bit at the corner. This was the bottom one where I had two layers, so I'm just going to put an extra one under there. That's better. It's just lifting up a little bit there. And And Tombow on the back. Pop that onto our Watermelon Wonder card base. So there you go. What do you think? Do you love the, the teacups as much as I do? Do you have to have the teacups in your collection? Let me know if you do and I'll be delighted to help you with that. Thanks for visiting Elizabeth's Craft Room today. And I look forward to welcoming you back again soon. Love.